Morning, everyone. Hopefully you're all having a good day. Let's see. We got Gareth in the house. The bear. Morning, bear. Aiden. King Warren. And Southside. What is good, everyone? It is very early in the morning for me. 6 a.m. I am totally not awake. Hey, hey Raymond, how are you? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be crazy about what I'm going to see this morning either. We'll see. This first one that I'm doing doesn't appear to be so bad right now. And my cat is going kind of crazy this morning. He is knocking my monitor all over the place. Oh man, Gareth, that's a really good question. That's actually a really, really good question. Um, man. I would say probably Zombie Sasha. Of all people, actually. I really, really like using Zombie Sasha, and I think the first time that I really used her much was in a feud, so I'm going to say Zombie Sasha. Final answer. Aha, Mr. McLovin, good morning. And um, what's the right pronunciation again? So I get it right, and I'll say good morning properly. Austin's definitely hitting hard with the purple bonus. Yeah, look at that. 325k from Austin. Sharn. Good morning, Sharn. Bacchus, what is good? Hey, Viking. Rackers, how are you? Andres, good morning. Yeah, Zombie Austin's stupid if you have gear and you're getting the bonus from the Silence Gems and the Purple Gems. That was crazy. Yeah, 6 could hit pretty good too, yeah. Hey, King Warren, how are you, man? I am enjoying this energy drink. One, I normally don't drink more than one. I don't think one's going to be enough today, though. Oh. I love this silly build for Macho, especially with the blue flat gem damage. Look at that. 31k every turn, as long as you can pick up a couple blues. Yes, please. Let's just finish it off grabbing a couple purples. Um. Uh, Southside, I didn't stay up completely for the first feud. I was not feeling good at all yesterday. Uh, I did not have a fun day. 
Yeah. Scott, I went to bed at midnight. I didn't, uh, little, probably 15 minutes before midnight I was asleep. I didn't feud the whole time. Um, but I am not awake yet, for sure. I have a bunch of fuses if I have to to get my 1%. I don't I don't think I'll have to. Yeah, south side I was I was. Oh, I'm I'm good today. I am good today. Thank you though. I'm actually really good. I um Got both silver medallions from the events going on, so I was able to get 50 more Bree shards. And I did a, another set of pulls for the Royal Rumble t-shirts that I've been farming for really hard. And um, I got 50 more Bree shards, so I'm 120 away. And we have um, three feuds to go. I So if we get 40 each time, I'll get Bree. Uh, if we, if I'm a few short, I'll probably spend a little bit on some pulls since her shards seem to be dropping. I don't want to spend, but I do want Bree very, very much for Orton and Zombie Triple H and HBK. All right, on Gareth, I'm glad you found it helpful. I, I was hoping it was still good. I felt like I was kind of rushing to try and get it out with having a, a preview to do. And the blog being later than, than I'd like, it seemed to take a long time. Um, Stretch, are you not going to take your guy? I feel like you're waiting for me because you're not engaging. So I'm going to go with that's a yes. Okay. That was a fair amount of time I supposed to wait. Iceman Parsons. Good morning, sir. Uh, from Oregon. Not quite so frigid. I think we're like uh, above freezing right now. And hey, K6, how are you? Oh, thanks, Scott. Yeah, last minute change. I thought, you know, I was not thinking we were feuding yesterday. Oh, you know what? I'm big dumb. I should have paid attention. I could have put zombie Triple H on my Austin and not dealt with this crap. I'm going to do that after this one. Just so I know. Oh, I left too many purples. And there's the bonus for purples. Wreck. He's going to target him. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Burgle Flickle. This might not go well. Yeah, south side. Um... Obviously, I would have had uh, 100 more Bree shards. I farmed the Royal Rumble tool tours really hard and ended up getting 75 shards for free from doing those. Um, let's look at the... If we went to have feud last night, I would have got even more. Yeah, I have 3,330 event points if it tells you how much farming I did for that. Gosh dang it. Not as much as uh, some people, but... <laughs> oh, it's going to kick me out right away, so I can only get rid of one. And he's still going to have his. And something about a duck. <sighs> oh, stupid. Hey, JP. How are you? You probably haven't been to bed. I went to sleep. Yeah, I bet Hogan is crazy in all these feuds. This is just a waste of health packs. And you know what? What are we at now? Okay. That's enough of this. It's... I was just stupid. I'm just gonna put, um... Zombie Triple H, and then I won't have to deal with that crap again. I'm just not awake.
Hey Roger, how are you? Good morning. Now I know why this line was open for me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Macho can do enough on the first turn. Uh... Ah, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> yeah, when you fall asleep feuding, it's time to throw in the towel, Scott, for sure. Uh, I'm going to be sad when this monster's gone, though. Watch me drop a purple for him there. Alright, we didn't. Hey, Drev, how are you? That's what she said. Yes, indeed. Hey, the H. Good morning. How are you? It's going, I think, okay. I am not awake for sure. All right, Edge, let's do Edge things. And come on, big cascades. Big cascades. Not a big cascade at all, Edge. Why you no listen? And I left purples everywhere. Son of a biscuit. And I have no blacks. This is not going to end well. Uh, what tips can I give you? Have turn one, guys. That can recycle if you need it. Um, don't face zombie Austins. Unless you can stun them. Or get a nice cascade, but the game hates you, so you don't. Um... <laughs> nice, AK-6. I'm 120 Brie away, so depending on where we finish, I'll get her or just be like 12 short. Uh... Um... Getting your matches is really important. Not not dropping in a purple from... Oh! I love you, Trickster Dodge. I need one more. Can I get back to back? <laughs> Can I get back to back? One more? Yes? One more? Yeah, he was, Scott. I messed around with him a little bit. Mine isn't 5-star yet, so I don't have exactly the build I want. Okay, now Macho can finish him. Yeah, Zombie Austin usually isn't a problem for me. Um, I was stupid, so he's a problem right now. Yeah, Mr. McLovin, you absolutely can. Uh, it's a gamer tag I made up. Uh, in particular, um, I think the first time I used it was Lord of the Rings Online, probably. Um, just a name I made up and liked, and I've used it for a lot of RPG video games. It was my uh, Death Knight's name in um, World of Warcraft. Uh, used it in Final Fantasy Online.
the one I liked when I was doing the preview so much um, was black, black, red with the five star black move. And I think that's the one I'll end up using. Oh, I think I'm going to come up just short here. I maybe can keep him down, though. Nope, there's a purple match. He's going to kick out. Ah! Um... With, uh, Nikki and Bree coaching. And, um... I'm sorry, I'm so not awake. Titus and, um... 9K Last Outlaw Undertaker. Wow, that was hard. Uh, it is what it is. I don't. I don't really care. I should have. I. I wouldn't have to deal with any of this if I had just checked, and I should have assumed he had MP down too. I just not awake. I'm gonna put. Um, zomp oh, this will work. I can beat him next with Macho next time. Hey DJ, what's good? Yeah, H. I'm super tired. <laughs> uh, if I miss chat, just ask again, guys. I'll wake up in a little bit. Usually. Uh, when I stream at 7.30, I've tipped, or 8, I've typically been awake for an hour, hour and a half. Um, I literally just woke up, so I am not awake at all. What's up, DJ? I am trying to stream while still asleep, and it's going super well. <laughs> oh, that, what? Did I run on a timer or something? This is ugly. Whatever. That's gonna be... I'm not doing a lot of feuds with that kind of health pack usage, that's for sure. Let's finish setting this up properly. Um, back to... Um, Orton, if, um, where are you at, Kishi? If I had Zombie Undertaker for the extra multiply gem, I would think about running double reds, especially since I have a flat, uh, armor metal for that. Um, and I would test it, but I think as of now, I will run the, uh, black, black, red with the 5 MP black move. Not the 5 MP, I'm sorry, the 5 star black move. Yeah, uh, 300% purple gem damage, I would imagine he is good. Um, let's see, I'll scroll up here, what did I miss? Yeah, he should disqualify too, Bob, totally. <sighs> Top of the morning to you, bear. Or evening. Since you're role-playing uh, London... Yeah, totally. Totally rigged. Oh, let's do this one. Yeah, hopefully, DJ. What's your average uh, viewer per stream now after the last one? Obviously, it's over 75, but what, what is your average? Yeah. 
81. Nice. So that's a decent chunk over 75. I feel like that's going to be pretty dang good. I mean, obviously, everyone here is probably biased, but we're all rooting for you. Oh, alarm, stop. Go away. Uh. <laughs> Give Kush a voice. Two Bob can't silence him forever. Man, Zombie Austin with that, this bonus is kind of dirty. Uh, Iceman, my giveaway today is going to be late. Hopefully giving uh, everyone time to unlock the good prizing. Um, and actually, when I start streaming for the giveaway, um, there's still time to get enough views in. Actually, let me link that. If everyone would go watch it once, we're still not to 1,200 views. And I'd like to make sure you guys get top prizing. So let me link it real quick in the... Should probably also feud though. Your faction isn't feuding, Drev? That's interesting. Yes, Floppy. Hashtag give Kush a voice. Yeah, if you guys would all just go click on that thing, open up another tab if you're on your computer, and just let it play through. You don't even need the volume on. Uh, that would be great. If you haven't entered the giveaway, feel free to do so. It's super easy. I try to make it as e easy as possible. Hey, hey, Joseph with a Z. Morning, buddy. How are you? So you could listen to the stream if you wanted to. But, I mean, you know, if you want to listen to me... Uh, on the stream and the video, you can. I was just giving you a, an alternate option. <laughs> right on, Punisher. Have fun at the basketball games. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. I hope your kids, uh, your kid has fun today, my guy. Much like video games, I always feel like sports should be fun too. I loved football. Boy, Edge is just not cascading for me for crap today, guys. I can't buy a cascade to save my life. Um. My zombie scene is only four star silver. <laughs> Love it, bear. <laughs> Moonwing is a legend. And yes, DJ stream was absolutely fire. Yeah, he really is. I imagine he'll be on here when he wakes up. He's a really good dude. I like Moonwing a lot.
<laughs> oh, it was great, DJ. But you should stream right now. Then I wouldn't have to mute you while you stream. You know, I could try tough. Mine's only four star silver, but I could throw Lacey on him too. Maybe I will. <laughs> DJ, do you have that date planned out with T Unit for um, Valentine's Day yet? I know there's a lot hinging on that. Hey, hey Bry Gab, how are you? <laughs> the spear was awesome. Ah, uh, the H. I might just for the just for the memes. Since everyone knows of my love for tough. Not that anyone's ever going to live to it, probably, but this move, it would be ridiculous damage. The unstoppable, or the, the undisputed future, Trev. Uh, Seth Rollins' undisputed future. D-Man, how are you? Good morning. <clears throat> I don't know if I said good morning to Rodney or Recognize, by the way, so welcome to the stream if I didn't say it earlier. I'm not awake, so... And my memory is sketchy at best. You know, Floppy, one of my biggest spending regrets in the game is when I sp dropped $100 on a guaranteed recruit of tough for the shards I was missing. I was like, man, I've wanted this card forever. I've never had him. He's super good. And then I took him up to four-star silver and said I'm going no farther ever with him. Yeah, that's actually, I feel like, some of the worst spending I've done on the game. Uh, where'd you share it, Brygab? I don't know that I did. Did you put it on my server? Because I haven't looked at anything this morning since I woke up except for uh, DMs. Brag room on my server. I'll check it out, dude. Uh, oh, I have more DMs since I started. Wow, on a six pull, four star gold Rick Rude Hall of Fame. That's awesome, Brygab. Way to go. Uh, did you DM me, Drove? I did not see it if you did. I would be excited too. That's a great pull, dude. At four star gold, no less. Yeah, Iceman, right? So, Tough is like one of those guys that's one gear away uh, from going back to being relevant. If they gave him like a purple gem damage gear or something, let's let's just pop him in and we'll we'll use Tough against my better judgment. But then I have to take no, I have to take Brian off of Zombie Austin if I do that, and I don't want to do that. Nope. Sorry, Tough. You're going back to the bench. Oh, let's do Piper, though. Because I'm not feeling Edge. He's struggling. He's on the struggle bus.
the last one I have for Mew is yet. Oh, yesterday. Okay, I see it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, H. You know what? I should actually put some coaches on too because I am not. Who do I want to run? Five star Vader. Zombie Triple H. Let's do. Yeah. I don't know. It's been a long time since I went up against a five-star Vader in a feud. Uh, I'm still waking up, Bear. I think so. Uh, Marcus, I would say I'm doing crappy because I've used way more health packs than I wanted to. Um, yeah, Two-year-old wakes up at 6 a.m. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, Viking. You could probably float a horseshoe in the coffee you're drinking then. Because he's fully charged. Yes, he is. Uh, let's just get rid of that then. Oh, well, whatever game. We'll just leave him another one. At least the AI is big dumb and didn't break any greens. Vader, Cascade King. What the heck? Oh, I want to leave the purples, but I don't care. So, there you go. This is not good at all. better. Okay. Uh, hey, RB Masher. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Um, I'm going to try and catch up on chat. I fell a little bit behind. <laughs> Carl Anderson on tough. Yeah. I am... Nope. Go this way. Uh, yeah. yeah, Ice Man. I like Piper anyway, a lot. Uh, I was using him on the road at 4 Star Silver. I was I, playing against Vader, and I was finishing every match at full life. So I want to actually make a video, probably. Um, and I want to see if I can beat a 5 Star Silver. And this should do it right here. Because I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, I put one too many. Whoops. Whatever. Uh, AK, I used a couple, um, to get my powerhouse for the solo. Um, I fused up, uh, Warrior with my four-star silver fuse. I used my three-star gold Vader fuse. That's the fuses I've used so far. Um, depending on how feud goes, I have uh, plenty I can use, and I may use them. Um, otherwise, if I do my 1%, I won't worry about it. Hey, two Bob, good morning. Uh, Roger, that depends on your faction. If your faction 
is going for 1% and you can't get enough feuding, then you should use them now. Um, if you can get enough feuding, then just save them for another faction event. I usually don't use them on talent up because they don't cost very much. Uh, I'm taking advantage of the purple gem damage and using Austin instead. Which, you know. Oh, what a stupid cascade. Sub build? Really? I mean, the AI plays the sub really build really well on defense, but why would you use that on offense? I'm going to lose this one, too, so I don't really freaking care. Yeah, hey Caleb, good morning. Uh, yeah, I'm just not really awake and um, I don't have my f roster set up the way I want. I have to change what I'm using again. One, two, too many 2 MP down, guys. And I don't have it. Because I didn't want to spend that much more on perks. Well. Yeah, the, the, the D-Gem ones are horrible. That's another reason why I don't have Quake on, because when they have the D-Gen, uh, that is really bad. Hey, Zandal, good morning. Yeah, Scott, um, I barely... I maxed it a, a few days ago, but I haven't got any points for the event since then. And yeah, um, definitely would have been doing what you just said if I was short, because there's not a lot of other ways available at the moment. It's just not going to happen for me today. One sub gem left that I can't get to. Not that it's going to matter. 
Unless I dodge. <laughs> nice, Bragab. Yes, I am, RB Masher. I really am. Um, actually, in between streaming this this today and um, tomorrow, I plan on catching completely up. I'm about three and a half weeks behind on Raw and SmackDown right now um, because I've been really busy lately. But I am very much so looking forward to the Rumble. And I've heard the last few weeks have been really good, too. I happen to like the current stuff going on, to be honest. I like a lot of the storylines. Uh, I've been enjoying Orton a lot. Roman Reigns has been really, really, really good. I like Keith Lee. I like Big E. Daniel Bryan fan. So, yeah. Um, I've actually been enjoying Raw and SmackDown quite a bit. I like the Hurt Business a lot. Yeah, DJ, I am all in on Heel Roman. He is incredible. What am I changing your mind about, Bear? Boogeyman will win the Rumble. <laughs> I love the Rumble. You never know what you're going to see. There's usually a surprise. Uh, I'd be fine if Daniel Bryan wins. I would be fine... Um, with KO, I would, I, I want, I want uh, Big E the most. I want Big E to get a title run. Um, eventually, one day, I would love to see Big E and Keith Lee main event uh, mania. But uh, Big E would be number one for me. Um, Keith Lee would probably be number two. And Daniel Bryan um, would probably be number three, so most likely it should be a good, good rumble for me either way. Hey Reggie, how you doing, my guy? I am feuding terribly, so thanks for joining the stream to see. I'm still getting my lineup right. Uh, Joseph, I'm 120 shards away from Bree now. Uh, I, man, Reggie. I'm tired as well. Uh, way less Blitz tickets needed next month was the big thing, Zandal. I don't give two craps about Goldberg or Brock, personally. So... Hey, Firefrost. Welcome to the stream. Goldberg is just Oldberg now and does nothing for me. And uh, Brock can put on good matches when he wants, but if Brock comes back and does stuff, it's just going to be Suplex City, and that's not really that exciting to me personally. Thank you, Piper. Yeah, Taker, it's looking like a really good month. Uh, the other thing they mentioned was the League Store tickets. You guys may have noticed them during the R-Truth event. Um, very good resources to, coin, uh, to real dollars spent. Um, and those are coming back. So uh, if you're that's something you're going to do and you can League up, you probably will want to do that. Let's make an adjustment here. I don't want to use the health packs anyway. And uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Uh, 
Hello? Thank you, game. It's gonna let me do a couple things. Let's... Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna leave Piper. And leave Macho. And have a lower one. That'll work. Let's do that. Yeah, so Brock is a, is a great wrestler when he wants to be, and he has no problem selling. Look at what he did for McIntyre. Um, so I, I that, that gained me a lot of respect for Brock. He's definitely willing to do business when it makes sense to him. Oh, frick balls. Uh, he's just not my favorite because uh, his matches are boring for me. Bragab, that's a lot of blitzes. Nice job. Uh, Mr. McLovin, if I used Andre and Feud, I would most likely get dropped from the content creator program, and uh, everyone in the community would hate me. That would be the two big things that would happen. This is going to take a while, guys, so. Five-star silver, Scott Hall running my dinky lineup. That's kind of funny. I'm going to go this route here to get the reds. I am really not. That's why I wasn't wanting to use Zombie Triple H. I am not awake enough for this, so I am going to be way too slow. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they. I would probably get dropped from the program. That's a no-no. We're really only allowed to use them um, in one thing uh, with some small caveats. I can use them on the road. That's about it. Or I didn't make a five match. Oh, I'm a... F hmm. I'm an idiot. That worked out okay, but not because I'm smart. Um, this is going not well. Yeah, we can use him, um, on the regular road. And showdown if we have someone's permission. But I've never used one on showdown and don't plan to even if I have permission. Well, it's it. Yeah, it is. And on top of it, for me, I play worse when I talk anyway. So now I'm tired talking and trying to feud at the same time. It's not the best recipe, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't need to be the world's best player anyway. If nothing else, it's probably funny watching me make bad plays. Although I had no control over that cascade. Don't need purples yet, so I guess. Sure. I 
I mean, you know, I also didn't think I'd have to go up against a five-star silver Scott Hall with my puny little lineup here. So this is just going to take a little bit of chipping away here. You have your monster for that boost. I'm almost finished with my first can of monster, and it's. I am still not even kind of awake, so. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Josh. Your dragon will kick my butt? Probably. Dragon's good. This is just too many health points and me playing way too slow. This is the biggest reason I don't like Zombie Triple H. Although, to be fair, if mine was 5 star silver, this would have been over a long time ago. So, I, it's probably not the best reason to hate on him. And on the plus side, I'm going to end up beating a 5-star silver, even playing terribly. Bang is better. I... Disagree. Depending on the flavor. I'm going to do one more cycle just to be safe. Uh, I hate perks too, Reggie. The D gem on this, because I didn't spend any for... for um, ups and I don't have MP down too. I just have yeah. Right there with you my guy. Well that should do it. Okay. Well, that took eight minutes. Yep, I just, um, my take on perks, guys, it should be for tours and blitzes, and not for PvP. I mean, basically everyone in the game becomes turn one, or, and you're spending mainly just to keep even with people. Uh, it doesn't really make a ton of sense to me. Um, it's not really a perk if I have to spend 5 million to 8 million to come out where I would have been before buying them or only 1 MP ahead. That's not really a perk. That's more of a I need this to compete and more of a penalty than a perk. Now, for tours and blitzes, it absolutely is a perk. Man, I wanna I wanna get through tours easier, so I'm gonna spend a little bit and get it. I want my blitz to go faster. Those are perks. That that I I feel like that's the definition of a perk and a fits. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, I don't know that we're ever gonna see what most of us would want. I don't know if you guys remember a while back we had that first showdown and there were no perks for it. Um, that was what maybe three four months ago. I'm bad with time. But that was a really fun showdown. A perkless showdown. So, the problem is, um, they, they see everyone buying the perks and using the perks, and they assume that we, the, that, 
correlates to the players love perks because they buy them. If they didn't like perks, they wouldn't buy them. But we buy them... Oh, come on, do not. Oh, you piece of crap. Uh, we buy them because we need them to compete. Or we feel like we do, and that's mostly... No, 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 dumb, dumb. I gotta be careful here. I'm... Talking and gonna mess this crap up. I don't like covering reds or purples, but... Get these purples here. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. I, I could see specific perks for air as being better. Actually, I don't mind that idea, Floppy. That would at least... Uh, you know, be more interesting. Hey, Michael Jackson, what's going on? One, two, three. Oh, we got 50 in here now. 50 people watching me feud slowly was on oh no wonder I'm going against Haven. Those guys are always perked out and set up right. Okay, the hard guys are done. And this is probably a much better line lineup for me to run. Thanks, Bear. I actually, the biggest reason I do not like streaming Feud is it slows me down a lot. That's my number one reason. Because I'm trying to uh, engage with you guys, and if I focus completely on feuding, that's not going to happen. Um, and the whole point of streaming is to engage with you guys, so... I don't, I'd have to even think about it. So if, let's say if the, we didn't have perks for Feud, that goes back to what? What, what will we start with for MP? Four, five? We'd start with five, unless you have someone that uh, you can run a double MP trainer with. Uh, so like, Piper would be turn one in Feud, but not a lot of guys would be, uh, who starts with five MP or less, you know, Someone like a, a blue blood with four MP moves all of a sudden becomes way more impressive. It would, it would change things a lot again. I should have used Piper. I forgot to switch. Oh well. There's me talking again, so I'll miss out on that bonus. Yeah, you can steal the MP too with Piper. He's a very good card. He's going to be good often. Honestly, 5 MP is super easy to load. Uh, but people have heard me talk about Piper a lot. I actually agree. I prefer him to Rick Rude. So I'm not going to argue with you, Bear. People will say I'm crazy.
right on our V-Masher. Yeah, he's a good counter to Zombie Austin. He's a fast card to load. He's got a sub. I like him very much. He gets loaded faster, though. Like, you can't really stop him from getting started. I um, mean, if you have the glowing phantom plate on him, he recycles like crazy. Oh, I'm in here with Southside. And uh, I'm fighting Iceman. Iceman, come on, dude. Hogan, do you have MP down too, Iceman? <laughs> I can look. Uh, does he have MP down too? Do, do, do. Yes, he does. Iceman, you're a douchebag. Uh, Alright, that's okay. Zombie Triple H. Uh, I just w went League 17 last night, actually. <laughs> Brygab, if you have it, you're a douchebag as well. It is not a must. What? How do I only have three? Oh my gosh, he's got zombie triple H on him too. I should have kept looking. Should have kept looking. <laughs> ah, this isn't going to go well. Uh, uh, thankfully, Hogan used the wrong move first, even though Iceman had it ordered correctly. And he didn't take a, a yellow. That that would have been really bad. Oh, thank goodness for stupid AI. Yeah, I've been doing strap pulls and having my normal luck. That was a nice cascade. Boy, when they don't have the perks uh, for gem degen down, this this guy hits really hard though. He even have four star gold. He's a problem. I've made enough five matches that I can just swipe and have it be faster. Okay. Uh, the Opera of Affiliation Straps. I'm sure there's more, Michael, but I don't know for sure. I haven't pulled on that myself. Maybe someone in the chat knows. Oh, thanks, Iceman. The AI played it crappy, so it's not... I probably shouldn't have won. Because they did... One, they didn't buff your move, even though you have it in the right spot. And two, it didn't target a yellow. And you got Macho. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, here we go.
Yeah, it's a lot of faction heals. Now. Oh, you even have his gear, too. You have Macho's gear. Nice. You don't see that a lot. Very nice. Whatever. Don't care. Too much thinking. Not awake. Okay. Should be. Okay, we're rolling now. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about Zombie Triple H is when, um, because you tend to use guys, use, um, he can hit so far above his weight, so you're always usually using him in hard battles. And it takes a lot more thinking, finessing, than just throwing gems out. If I had mine leveled higher, uh, it would be much faster, because you wouldn't need to worry about making your matches so much. Uh, so that's the one downside, but it's not really the character's fault, because I should be probably having higher guys in feud than I'm using. Uh, I have no affiliation straps, Floppy. That's actually not true. I got one from the faction loot. It's a PG technician. That is the only affiliation strap I have. Yeah, but it takes a while to plan out, Brygab, as opposed to a lot of other stuff doesn't. Like, I can map out Quakes as Quakes Blast Gems in seconds. Like, just a few seconds. Sorry, Southside. I am almost done, though. Uh, let's use Piper versus Piper. Gold versus Gold. Watch what I do. Play play poorly. You're not missing much. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dodge. No. Yeah. That was awesome. And when I say awesome, I mean that sucked. I really hope I can get to my sub here. You seeing this? Are you... S okay. We're good. We're all good here. Not mad at all. Not mad at all. Not mad at all. Good morning, Shane. How are you? Uh-huh. 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 Game, do you not know, one, I'm streaming, two, I'm in a feud, and three, this 10 turn sub is going to take all freaking year. The disrespect. Ah. 
Now, the purple match should give me green. I want to... Can I say that? Yes. Wow. So many things to say. That'll fill my green up at least, though. So many things to say. Yeah. Right, Reggie? They're like, ah, uh, we're gonna piss a ton of people off. Just for fun. Because we can. And loot box match. Fantastic. Iceman, you and your double dodge perk. Ha! Too bad you're gonna get to your sub way before I get to mine again. So that dodge isn't gonna do me any good. No, JP, I don't work today. That starts next weekend when I work on Saturday. I do not think I'm going to get out of this. Oh, I am going to get out of this. Okay. Come on, move. All right. Okay, just if he dodges one more time, I'm going to lose my crap. I'm just saying so everyone knows. I knew it. I knew it. I frickin' I could feel it. I could absolutely feel it. Yep. The mm-hmm. Yep. I am mad, bro. I'm super mad. So what is the dodge percentage is it actually listed at? Because I feel like Iceman's is at least fifty percent. You can't dodge subs, or he would have. And then he gets a green match. This mother... Mm-hmm. 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 Watch him connect that purple for, like, a five match or something. Yeah! How's it feel, Piper? Not good. It's all good. Everything is good. Now, the glowing phantom phenom plate is gonna take over, and we're gonna get control of this match, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Gonna get another heal off. Longest match ever, Piper versus Piper, where he dodges everything. Dear Lord. <sighs> uh, I know a few people have said they like I they can let their they can watch the my streams with their kids around and stuff and the fact that I don't swear that match really tested all of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a that's a really good call too, Gary. Escape artist is such a good play. Wow, that was horrible. Iceman, I'll be fine never seeing you in feud again. Ah, JP. <laughs> uh, that's bold of you to assume the district manager would ever confront an unethical sales culture. Very bold of you. 
because uh, from what I can tell, they don't. This is the best tough right here, fodder tough. I wish this was my tough. <laughs> Just eat some gummies and press on, my friend. Oh, that's such a good call out right there. Uh, sorry for wasting your time, Southside. <laughs> no no you're fine you i don't care i've had uh went up against bigger squads like all feud long i was getting 20k bigger rosters feud one and it was really frustrating uh like against me it didn't matter if i was the top one even i was still getting the bigger ones it's been that kind of feud but that's fine oh harper do i need to worry about harper Probably with multi gems on purples, if that's he's in the open spot. So yeah, I would imagine I would. Yeah, right, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> uh, it's it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice spot right here. Now that's a nice board to start with. There we go. Much better. Apparently now I'm just getting all the cascades. Pretty much, Reggie. I feel like uh, the same, actually. Nice, Aaron. Honestly, if um, if I wasn't like uh, doing content stuff and streaming, I probably wouldn't even be bothering this feud. I'd do a couple and call it good, and would wait till the last feud, um, where it's thirty percent or thirty thousand individual win, and then just use fuses to get my one percent if I wasn't able to. Why not?
Definitely gonna play for the to keep the greens on on board there like that. Right, Iceman? I just wanted to use Piper because I could. Oh, apparently he's got a Chaotic Blast thing or Blue Bomber or some such. Yeah, let's give you... Uh, no, Drub, I can't. Hey, Jens. How's it going in Germany? Retro IC. Good morning, sir. How are you? You see that cascade? And AI just. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Let's fill my health steal up. Uh, Drove because people get mad. They would say it's rigged, you know, and they would get mad. So, I don't, it's easier not to. I don't really care. It would, I mean, it would be nice to have a shot at getting some of the stuff, but I don't care. It's not a big deal, really, in the grand scheme of things. Gargano's another really good one for it, Aaron. And Jens, uh, have a spacey and eat a schnitzel, schnitzel for me. Oh, frick balls, Austin. Nice thing is, purple match will fill my green. That was one of the best things about Germany, was the food when I was there. Uh, Garmisch Parchkirchen? If I'm saying that right, it's very hard to pronounce. Uh, my buddy, his brother, uh, worked on a military base there, and he lived with them. Uh, his brother was a civilian employee in IT on the military base. I went for two weeks. We spent one in Germany, and um, yeah, 
uh, we went to a traditional German restaurant where they have like the lederhosen and you know the accordions and all that, and they do the the like the whole bit. Uh, I ordered oxtail soup. It came out on fire. It was delicious. Uh, we went to Neuschwanstein, if I'm pronouncing that right, the castle, um, and uh, hung out in the area there. Yeah, some amazing food. And then um, we bought year rail pass for a week, and we would ride the train at night from from one city to the next. It was not nearly enough time, so like. Uh, I was in Rome, uh, Pisa, Venice, uh, Monaco, a town somewhere in France. We didn't go to Paris, but we stopped in France, and um, that was a long time ago. But that was awesome. But a day is not enough time for places like Rome. Um, so Germany was super cool. Um, like I said, went to some castles. Mother effing mm, Garrett. Mm. Um, as long as he doesn't kill me this turn. Anyone get dodged as much as me? This feud? Like, anyone? Have been dodged as much? Oh, really? I'm good. I'm good. 3% chance unless you're playing against Merrick's. Um, yeah, Rome is the coolest place I've ever been. The Colosseum was amazing. Vatican is amazing. AK, I'm slow. Take my line if you want it. I'm, I'm good. I'm sure AK's in the stream. Maybe not. I'll DM him. That was frustrating. Um, so I told AK to take the lane. Yeah, there we go. Uh, someone asked about my roster, who I have ready to go up. This is a good time to show you that. Um, upgrade. Bailey's ready for five star silver. But that would max the talent up, and I have a bunch of other moves I want to do, so I'm not going to, I don't think, do that. Because I don't want to overshoot talent up. So Cena's going gold, Orton's going silver, and then probably gold as well. So I'm going to take him to gold, and him to gold, and Sting to gold. So, yeah, Jens, I agree. I think all of us would prefer that, and it would be fun to do. So those are the big moves I'm going to do. I think I'll take Big E, five-star, bronze, um, even though I'm also working Gooker up, but I want to Masters the Universe at five-star, so I think I'll also take him five-star bronze, and that should do my talent up. So that's my talent up plans. As far as who I'm working on, This month, uh, I dumped a ton of coin into Zombie Triple H. Oh, yeah, Zombie Triple H, you didn't see there for some reason. He's going five-star bronze. So, uh, I'll do Bailey next talent up. I feel like requirements are going to go a lot higher the next talent up. So, I'll hold her back for the next one. Zombie Triple H is going to go five-star bronze in that as well. And then next month, the big move is getting Gooker ready for five-star bronze. Nice, Retro. I wish I had Keith Lee. Uh, 
Well, the the <laughs> the good thing south side is they greatly reduce blitz next month, so that's the big win. Happy Navi, it is on my list to do, sir. I, I try and do it every month. This has been a super busy back end of the week for me. And then flash feuds doesn't help. So I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to get it done, but I will get it done. Looks like I have to reboot. Sorry if you can hear me smacking. I'm eating some wheat thins. Uh, let me look, D-Man. It was significant. I'm gonna go lower. Not enjoying um, blowing all these health packs. All right, let me go to that post. Uh, part three. The daily blitz is back. It gives blitz tickets and keys again. Uh, normal mode is 300. Hard mode's 1,000. Hell is uh, 3,500. Uh, but the, the requirements, I believe, are you should only need to do uh, about 20k worth of tickets to max it as well so it's a lot oh doesn't matter if i go low i still get two five stars and i don't have a single one Also, the contest superstars for week one, uh, the bonus ones are any Ric Flair or any Greg or, or Greg Valentine. Um, Slick Rick is worth the extra bonus points. So, yeah, they absolutely listened this month. Uh, they also listened about uh, putting the uh, Shamrock shards back in. No, the person that queued with me has a tiny roster, so the two evened out. So I got stuck with the, the a much bigger opponent. Happens sometimes. This guy has D-Gem as well. Good times. Is okay though. I know it's not always popular. Uh, people are mad often uh, in our game in particular. 
uh, I try to be positive as a general rule, but uh, I was thinking about it the other day, so I didn't start right away when a lot of people did. I just went over a thousand days played. I've still been playing a long time, but I didn't start at the beginning. And I was just thinking about a lot of the changes, whether it's the, the leagues and not having to go against the top guys in contests and having contests uh, tailored for your league, uh, or whether it's, um, should we do another Piper versus, why not? Um, the daily login calendars, the, what they've done with giving people a shot at getting all the chase characters from this year, this month, like a chance to get them. Um, the rays, the, the zombie Cena's, all of the free stuff, um, that would have helped me huge when I started playing huge and I feel like the game is way friendlier to new players now than when I started um, also it's I think it's friendlier to let's say a mid-tier player um, as well and I think a lot of times people get upset annoyed about things when maybe it's not as bad as they think uh, the game is a lot better than it used to be. Um, the Some of the spending and the loot, I think, is worse than when I started. Like, the loot is definitely worse, in my opinion. Um, but no one makes you spend. So, I'm not really mad at Scopely ever for the loot pricing, because the loot pricing is set by the players. We, we, if we don't buy, loot pricing changes. They're, they're a company, and that 100% will happen. Uh, if the people are spending on the loots, there's no reason to change the pricing. It's clearly working. I should have held that back. I was talking and messed up. So I don't. I, a lot of times people get mad at stuff that they probably shouldn't. Um, because no one makes you spend. And I don't feel like that's anyone's fault other than the player's spending, because you're never forced to spend. Um, and that might not be popular to say. However, I do feel that way about it. Um, so yeah, I think the game is in such a better place, and I think they actually do listen a lot. A lot of people that tend to get the most upset forget that they're in the very top percentage, right? So, like, if you were to poll people on the last couple months, uh, lower players would all say it's been probably the best three months of their time playing the game. A uh, mid-tier player might say the same. A top-tier player would probably say it's terrible. So it really depends on your perspective. And I try to keep that in mind when I'm thinking about things. Also, if we don't keep having an influx of new players, eventually the game dies. Because old people quit playing and there's no one to replace them. So the fact that they're... Um, making it more friendly for new players to start, I think is huge. And I think that's important to consider long-term as well, if you're someone that wants to play the game uh, long-term, which I do. Um, so I don't know if all that makes sense. Correct. It, it, is, it is, a, is a worldwide game. And most likely, if you're not in a top 25 faction, you probably don't blitz a ton, or most of your faction doesn't. So, it's not, um, it's really not, the blitz ticket thing really isn't a huge deal, but even that being said, they, uh, they listened to us this month. Exactly, D-Man, it is gambling, and to be honest, a lot of the people that yell the loudest about how much the game sucks and how bad the loot is, then go out and drop 200 bucks on said loot. I don't really think that gives you a, a right to complain when you know the odds ahead of time and the odds are you're not going to get a character from the loot. 
I only do pulls when I'm okay with pulling nothing. Um, if you're not okay with pulling nothing, then you probably shouldn't pull most of the time. Um, it's, it's just a fun thing to do. If you get something, it's awesome. If you don't, it's not. And that's the way I think people should look at it. Um, that's just my opinion. It doesn't make it right. Uh, but people get so mad about the dumbest things. Literally, we had people... And this is funny. Um, there was people yelling like crazy when they took the shamrock shards out. When they, when they put the shamrock shards back in, there were a bunch of people complaining that it wasn't sting shards. Or the sting fuse, because they would rather have the sting fuse than the shamrock shards. I kid you not, guys. Literally... You, the people complain about the weirdest stuff. The absolute weirdest stuff. And it doesn't even make sense. And and for me personally, I would have rather had the, the Sting Fuse. Personally. But I'm glad they changed it back to Shamrock, because that's what they originally said. And it benefits anyone who doesn't have Shamrock. But most people aren't really interested in looking at what benefits anyone other than themselves. Um, and that makes it harder. Right, exactly. Free is free, D-Man. Um, but yeah, you can't really complain, in my opinion, about the loots, because literally the players set the pricing on that. So you especially can't complain about the loot pricing if you pull for it. That's, again, just my opinion, and sorry if that comes off as preachy or anything like that. That's not my intention. That really wasn't very good. At all. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Peace. Yes. Oh, the trial? Yeah, so... So, here, that's another great example. So, the trial, right? Um, this will end it. Um, so, originally, the point of the trial is getting everyone to be able to play, right? Exactly, King Warren. That's why I spend two. It's to hit a milestone, get a guaranteed thing, or get the stuff in the package, not the not the other stuff. No, I don't know what the daily rewards are going to be, Sandal. Um, so with the trial, the idea with the trial is to let everyone try the character. Well, tons of people couldn't try the character unless you had 7 million coins saved up, and then even if you did, you were going to click level up like 500 million times and then claim each individual milestone. Yeah, uh, King Warren. Uh, on the plus side, um, Shamrock is a dual MP trainer and will come in useful. So for people that don't have Shamrock, it's good too. Either are a really good option. Um, um, but uh, yeah, the trial, people couldn't play it. And then it was a, um, a support nightmare for the people that tried leveling up and didn't and couldn't get enough. They had to refund coins. So there was a lot of things that weren't good about it. They rolled it out. Um, it was a good rollout. It was a great idea. Benefits players huge. And then after it rolled out, they looked for ways to improve it. Which was giving you the character all the way leveled up. Which then in turn pissed a ton of people off because, oh, now we can't use it to max coin events. Now we can't do this. Now we can't do that. Um, but it shouldn't have made people mad really because now the whole community can actually test the character and it benefits again newer players much much more um, and you still can clear a bunch of hard road nodes and things like that so i i didn't really think it was a good use of bashing scopely in that case either when i don't like stuff you guys know i have no problem saying i don't like it i don't like perks i don't have a problem saying i don't like perks in feud and showdown and I'll say I don't like stuff like I don't like the cost of the of the of the loot, but I only uh, buy it when I feel like I'm getting the value I want from it. 
Um, so I, I'm all for, but uh, there's so much uh, complaining that I think sometimes it's hard for them to hear us because sometimes it feels like literally we complain. I hate dodge. I wish dodge wasn't a thing. Um, yeah. Um, we complain so much that it loses its effect and they don't listen to us because they complain about anything. They're never happy. So I think it's important to complain when we should, but also have a solution in mind. Hey, this isn't working. Um, can we do this instead? Or how about we try this? You know, things like that. Um, also, it doesn't do a good job to just freak out and scream and yell uh, because that's not constructive at all. And we get a lot of that. You'll see posts of that just make almost no sense. People are raging so incoherently. And that's not going to benefit the game at all. I, I want to make the game a better place. Like, that's my goal. That's why I try to do helpful videos. I want the game to be easier for everyone, thus making it more fun and having more people play. Uh, because then it keeps the game going longer, you know, and everyone's having fun. I have more fun. So that's why I do that. And that's kind of why I try and take the stance I do. Um, and if I think as we get more people on that wavelength of, hey, we want to improve the game, this would be an improvement. What can we do to work towards this? There's a much better chance they listen. Uh, because it's just not always people complaining to complain. And as you can probably tell, I'm waking up a little bit more now. <laughs> you're, I love you, Floppy. You're, you're, you're a beautiful human being and a great troll. I'm not one of them. Because I, there's all kinds of stuff I'll say I don't like. It's definitely not perfect. And it definitely could be better, and I want it to be better. Yeah, exactly, King Warren. Well, let's go for purple since they're giving me that. He has MP steel. That's not going to be fun. If I let him get a turn. Aaron, that is... Uh, that does suck, but support is really good about giving you your health packs back for that. You just need to put in a ticket, take a screenshot. I actually love... I have more fun playing the game now than ever. And a lot of that is simply I changed my outlook on things. I don't feel like I have to max everything. I don't feel like I deserve to max everything. Some events aren't maxable for me. And I'm okay with that. I still have a lot of fun. I can still get a lot of good cards. And I hang out with a bunch of really cool people that I like in my faction. You know? So. Yeah. I mean, where else would I meet people like Floppy? But I literally have friends all over the globe now. Right on, Iceman. See, that's the thing, too. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of budgeting. Uh, set a limit for what you're going to spend. And then decide if the loot's worth it to you. It really helps keep you from impulse buys. And then when you want a big purchase, like I know I want zombies. My budget is probably higher than a lot of yours would be. It's $50 a week, which is a lot. I'm not saying it's not. But uh, that's what I budget on the game. If I don't spend 50 I literally have a separate account for it. If I don't spend 50 uh, whatever's remaining goes into that same account. Uh, for when there's something I do want to spend on. So I plan on spending a bunch on zombies, uh, buying guaranteed shards, because I'm very close to Zombie Roman, 55 shards. 
and uh, I'm 261 away from Zombie Daniel Bryan. Both of those cards are significant upgrades at the Showboat class and the um, Powerhouse class for me. So to me, it's worth spending on, and I know it's coming, so I'm going to save that money. Usually, AK, it's in March, but I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to happen again this year, but I don't know that for sure. Yeah, Gary, there's a ton of good people, and well, also, the, the base gameplay it's the gem ma uh, I've played a bunch of gem crushing games this is by far the most fun enjoyable even taking the content away the fact that it's wrestling and I like wrestling uh the con I I like marvel and I don't really care for marvel's gem crusher I I don't I don't know Gary if they try to try to kill it I think that's wrong um have they done things that a lot of us don't agree with yes um, exactly, AK. This is the longest I've and, and most time I've ever played a phone game easily. And it's, I think I've now played this probably longer than I've played any of the MMO, MMOs I've played. And it's like, oh no, big dumb guys. Big dumb dumb. I didn't change my move back. Um, Right, Zandal? Uh, there's just so much you can do. At least the AI used his moves completely wrong. Um, so yeah. And, and when you think about it from Scopely's point of view as a business, if, say, they didn't have this game, we wouldn't go play a different Scopely game. Because, you know, they don't have another wrestling game and, and you know, we just wouldn't. So, basically what would happen is they would lose all of this income. Uh, z level 0 CF, or 1, depending what you start with. So they'd lose all this income from us. So I don't think ever that they try to kill it. Um, I think they have numbers that we don't have access to. Probably numbers that do with spending and things like that. And they know when spending is going well and when they don't. Um, I think there's stuff they could do to increase spending from the players, because a lot of us are happy to spend when it's an offer we like. Um, and I think we might start to see more of that coming. I really wish I had changed my moves back. This is making this a lot harder than it needs to be. Exactly, Floppy. Exactly. They know what they're doing. And... The game is nowhere close to dying. They spent a bunch of money on the portal and adding new features. They're putting a bunch of money into, I'm sure, developing the new stipulation tours because that's a completely different game mode. So when people say, oh, the game's close to dying, that's not true. A lot of the top guys don't like where things are at now because they had the mentality they need every card and they're going to spend to get every card and now you can't get every card unless you spend like crazy but if you don't have the mentality that you need every card so much of the game is way better and they're in some ways there's way better value man this match would have been over hours ago And a lot of times, myself included, I really respect a lot of those guys that um, know a ton about the game, that have a lot of high-level cards, and it's really easy to listen to them about when things are crappy, because they'll make, they'll make a lot of sense, but at the same time, they don't think about it from everyone's perspective. Like, here's a great example for me. One of the things I have a hard time remembering 
since I've been VIP 11, is that I have instant access to hell mode. I don't have to three-star hard modes. So, a lot of the tours seem like they're great to me, or easy, because I don't have to three-star hard mode. But I, re I was thinking about that the other day. I remember what that was like and how many tours would be locked behind having to three-star hard mode or needing a character. And I try to remember that because a lot of tours that are good for me suck for other people that aren't VIP 11. But it's really easy to forget those things as you level up, you know? Literally, that is probably one of the best quality of life features in the game for me. That ability right there. And probably the biggest difference why a lot of times uh, I can max an event or get very far when other people can't. And I try to try to remember that. I try to use trainers that are, are common in my videos for the same kind of reasons. Because not everyone has however many characters I have, or not, you know, I don't even have a Hogan as many characters as I have. I don't even have a Hogan, but I still try not to use the rare ones I have. I'll use a lot of the uh, chase cards because a lot of people have access to them, or if not a lot, a fair amount. But I try not to use, like, completely paywalled trainers. Like, I've had Gooker for a while now, and he helps a lot of cards, but I don't think I've ever used Gooker in a preview as a trainer. Because he's super rare. And I need to remember to change Piper's moves back. I should do that right now. Ooh. Also, I gotta claim my uh, auto-clear tickets. <clears throat> I wish these refreshed like the other stuff does. At the same time, all the time. Like, so if you if they, if you were late, you still got them at the same time. My most wanted Zandal is actually uh, probably Daniel Bryan um, or Keith Lee. Um, I feel like Daniel Bryan more so, though, because he's only a 6 MP to load card. It would be cool if the auto clear tickets just went into your inventory at whenever they loaded in. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, change Piper. Zombie Roman wouldn't be my most wanted because I love Dango so much. But yeah. Exactly, Southside. I might make that suggestion somewhere. Because I feel like that would be a nice quality of life one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, here he is. Let's not do that again. To be perfectly honest, um, I think Zombie Brian would be my most wanted card, along with um, Powerhouse Hogan, because he adds plus one to everyone. Uh, I'm going to take Orton to five-star silver first, AK. The Zombie Triple H is going to stay five-star bronze. Yeah, Aiden. I am. Sadly, I've now switched to water, which, well, being delicious does not can contain caffeine. Oh no, Acro Steamboat would probably be uh, number two. I just am nowhere close to him. Yeah, we'll definitely see a lot more five-star silver next month, AK. I will not have one. I'll be fine, though. I think. We'll find out. Steamboat is the, by far the best Acro in the game. And he's also probably a top 5 card in the game. For sure a top 10 card, regardless. But yeah, he's incredible. 
That really depends on you, Zandal. Uh, I like going into the monthlies probably with 30 million coin um, and about 2 to 3k TP of each color. I would love one, two, three kid as well, Aaron. He's very good. Very, very good. I also really want JBL. He was a lot of fun for me to play with. Yeah, I I can't. I really can't. Um, I'm contemplating Andrade because he's close to ready to five-star bronze. I'm also, though, thinking about taking Sting to five-star bronze. Yeah, Bacchus, I am waking up now. Yeah. Big big difference between start of stream and now. I probably should have just waited to start streaming. Oh, all right. Who do I want to kill with who? And why does it keep doing that? Whatever. We'll just do it this way. Right on, AK. <laughs> I think I'll, my legends are, are kind of weak. I don't have a five-star legend. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take up Stinger at Acrobat. I know he's not top tier, um, but he also doesn't use Multiply Gems, which I like. Um, and I love Stinger. So he's got some a couple different movesets he can do, some low-charge stuff. You guys know I like low-charge moves, so... Makes sense. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Since I'm loaded at Striker, I don't really feel like working Mr. T up. Uh. Yeah, and I have Sting's gear. Um, and stuff, so. Right on, Floppy, you like him too? What, do do any of you guys have him at 5-star? No, you cannot have my Mr. T. I find him very useful. Dang it, just missed. Um. Oh, do you have his gear, Floppy? Right on, Jens. Oh, I bet. With the blue gem damage, I bet he was really fun last feud. Don't cascade. Thank you.
This should do it. Let's let's gamble and see if it does it. I forgot payroll that you had one, two, three, kid. I hate you a little bit for that, by the way. But also, uh, congrats. What's how is Junkyard with Gear Floppy? Is he just like it looks like even doing like a three match just is stupid damage? Is he fun to play with? Yes, I know you have Hogan payroll. Really? He's meh? Okay. You need Cascades? Yes, Zandal, you're right. You're absolutely right. Because as soon as I took uh, Showboat Lacey to 5-star, I got Sasha. So that means I need to take Stinger and Bailey. I really liked him in testing, King Warren. Uh, I haven't played him, obviously, in Showdown or Feud, competitive modes, but I had a lot of fun in testing. Or doing the preview. I tend to call it testing, because that's what it is for me. I feel like Showdown is probably where he really would shine. Of the two competitive modes, but I don't know for sure. You know, it's funny, the game really kind of moved away a lot from Choose Move, guys. So, I haven't played a lot of Choose Move. Um, so, at least, if nothing else... The zombie Triple H will kind of help sharpen those choose move skills back up a little bit. Oh, come on, stop, stop. Thank you. Uh, I have not made my purchases yet, Zandal. I like to make sure nothing is, is coming. Um, I probably will in the next little bit though not today probably but probably tomorrow I don't think we're gonna see anything new at this point now so I would say it's probably safe to do that um, I, I generally like doing that once I've wrapped up most of the monthly stuff um, and then I can make my chart for who I'm gonna work on next month eh, and that kind of thing Yeah, Warren, almost everyone needs a belt these days to compete, although I don't think Texina needs a strap, but it certainly won't hurt him. I am super psyched to get him leveled. Very, very excited. Almost five star now. Almost there. Four star gold. One more month. Events, Zandal. Events are the best place to get straps. But yeah, um, like you can get modern, modern powerhouse straps that have 40% move damage on them. Which is ridiculous. 
It also counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, CF disc. Yeah, Bacchus, I did my key pulls so I could hopefully uh, get more vault tokens um, before the vault went live. I got nothing to speak of other than shards for um, moves. Yeah, uh, Taxina uh, five star has been my favorite card to play, him and Orton. So I can't wait to get both of them five star. So uh, that's why I want to skip a level this talent up and take both of them to four star gold with um, Orton, and then next month five star bronze I will have Taxina and Orton. So that'll be beautiful, and then hopefully the month after that five star silver of both of them. And uh, next month, um, I also want to take Gooker 5-star Bronze. So that's probably next month's talent up is those three 5-star Bronze. And I'm going to be a little bit behind on getting a 5-star Silver. But then the month after that should be lots of 5-star Silver starting to come in, depending on how talent ups are. Yeah, Texina is going five star silver over Sako for me. I could, I could take Sako five star silver now. Um, if I had wanted to put the, the TP into him, I have all the tokens, the TP and coin. But I just feel like um, Cena is going to do better at five star silver. That's awesome, King Warren. Did you buy the gear for him, too? I don't understand what that means. I need allowing. Right on. Nice, Iceman. I'm definitely, Bailey will be my first acrobat for sure. I was planning on taking her at the start of this month, but that would max my talent up, and I still have a lot more moves I want to do, and I don't like being overshooting talent up. So I guess I'm going to wait. And it might might hurt me a little bit competitively. I don't think this month, but I feel like the month after is going to be very hard for me because all the guys I want to take 5-star silver are still one month beyond that. So I might have to adjust that game plan and get at least one 5-star silver, but...
<laughs> That's funny, King Warren. Oh, man. Rude dog, my guy. You're giving me a huge roster. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, you may end up cleaning up for me because I'm gonna be really slow because I don't have a five star. No, you're fine. It it's been it's been all feud. You are fine. I'm not mad at all. I have a baby lineup. Uh, those are both good calls, really good calls. I know nothing about Sid, really. Because I wasn't testing and I'm nowhere near him, so I haven't done a whole lot of investigating on Sid. There's a lot of black gems on this board. see what that does yeah that's kind of nice oh we got an armored Sako this is gonna take a little bit all right Ah, uh, it's no big deal, Rude Dog. Uh, I'll just zombie um, Triple H him, so it's it's literally not a big deal. I'm just slow, so after my three matches, you, uh, well, it probably won't matter because I only have an easy guy left. But I'm the one that's gonna slow you down here, so I'm sorry. That should do it. There's a lot of black on the board. But let's just hit this one first and see. Right on, Mr. McLovin. Thanks for being on the stream. I appreciate it very much. And tell tell Sharn I said hi. Oh, if you guys haven't, and you would, if you'd hit a, a thumbs up, a like on the video, I'd appreciate that. It uh, it, it does make a difference for me. It uh, YouTube's algorithm pushes videos with more likes towards the front, so it's more likely to get replayed uh, after someone's video. You don't have to. Oh, thank you, uh, great old one. I appreciate that. Uh, so far, no one's hit the thumbs down button, which is nice. I'm sure someone will, though. They always do. There it is. It's not a funny troll, but uh, it definitely happens a lot. There's someone that thumbs down um, at least half of my videos. I'm pretty sure it's the same generally the same person all the time oh five match please don't pin oh it's not gonna matter well this is gonna suck yeah retro it's whatever 
I have bigger things to worry about. That's the worst thing that happens. It's all good. Hey, loser. What's up? You're a loser. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. Daughter walks by and says, hey, loser. That was wonderful. Oh, I'm not trying to suss anyone, JP. No, it was for me, but you can have it. What's that? I already drank the monster. I don't think so. I'll tell you tomorrow. No, I don't see who does. I probably wouldn't even bother to look anyway, to be honest. Ah, dang it. Gosh dang it. Hey, Cabal, how are you? Uh, Orton would probably be my top 1 MP guy, and Sako, and Lana. I used that move not when I wanted to. Uh, that's okay, I can... There's enough blacks, I can end it here anyway. Yeah, so Orton, um, Sako, Lana, yeah, I maxed MLC Cabal. Uh, who else is 1 MP? There's not a lot of 1 MP guys. He's got the showdown build, double red, huh? Alright, well let's do this. Eh. Come here. Ah, uh, yeah, I wish I had Acro Sean. He's was super fun to play. Super fun to play. Yeah, I don't have him, though. Th they asked which ones I have. I don't have APA. I don't have 123Kid. I don't have Sean Acro. Yeah. Michael asked which ones I had. Don't have Kofi. Don't have Black. I think I only have three 1 MP guys.
Beautiful. Like, why the heck am I getting so many, uh, gems? Oh yeah, that's right, I put Dude Love on. He hits so freaking hard that way. Does Ray have one MP move? I do have Ray. I thought his were like two charge and stuff. One, two, That's not the build anyone uses though, is it? Most people use the black, black, green, or black, green, green, or something like that. Does that move set have the one MP move? I don't know, I haven't messed around with him much. I should probably... I'll just leave this on for now. I can forget and then you guys can make fun of me. The green is the one MP1? Okay, thanks, Southside. And here I thought I was going to slow Rude Dog down. We're good. We're good. Nothing to see here, folks. Right on. Happy birthday, Prince. I hope you have a great day. Score some good presents. And I hope your, uh, your Uncle Caval gets you a nice birthday cake. <laughs> I saw that, Rude Dog. Do you need me to clean up? I have Zombie Triple H available. Ooh, and a PS5. Yeah, if he's really cool, he'll get you a PS5, Prince. And then he can send me one, too. You're getting tired, King Warren? Tired of feuding or tired of me or both? Five star silver, Big E. Is he running the the double black or the blue brood dog? What what move sets he running? Double black. Does he have all the gears? He must have all the gears. You guys want to follow Retro IC on Twitch? He does a lot of Twitch streaming. I just popped his link in the in the chat. While you're at it, you can also follow me on Twitch eventually in the not-too-distant future. Actually, I'll be streaming on Twitch too, so I'll post my link in there for my Twitch channel. But uh, give RetroIC a follow, and I'll give you his uh, YouTube um, link as well. Retro's a good dude, so if you haven't seen his stuff, check it out. It's definitely sus if they don't follow me. Totally. I agree with you. It does seem sus if you don't follow me. Uh, Michael, I don't know yet. 
Uh, there's a lot of really nice features on Twitch. And there's a Retro's YouTube link. Ooh, gotcha, Warren. That's a long time. Um, there's a lot of really cool features on Twitch. The, the emotes, the interaction. It seems like people have more fun there in general. Um, I'm always going to make YouTube videos. Uh, as far as streaming goes, it uh, doesn't really matter to me where I stream. Uh, I, depending on what people tend to like more in general. Um, and it seems like people enjoy the stuff on Twitch more with the emotes and that stuff. You can't even see the gameplay? Why, why is that, Michael? Why can't you see the gameplay? I'm pretty sure I can format my screen exactly the same. Drunk Johnny's awesome, JP. I love that guy. Yeah, I, I, I can for sure. Because I could just re put the stream on here. I do... Oh, the emotes covering up too much of the screen, Michael? Is that what you're talking about? Or, or the alerts? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would have as many alerts and stuff as go off or not, though. I mean, the thing, too, is uh, on mine, I don't think you'd have a ton of alerts. Because you usually only... I didn't see what you said, dude. Calm down. Um, I, I don't think... Um, I don't think I'd have as much going on. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not, it's not like I'm a big Twitch streamer guy. Hi, Johnny is a sidekick. I mean, I work with a Johnny. Uh, oh, 700 away from Acro Triple H. Uh, if you got him, I would work him as your main Acro. Nah, actually, Ray is fine. I would just start working on Ray, to be honest, great. And then not worry about who you get. Um, cause Ray's going to be a solid one for you unless you pull a ga complete game changer like Steamboat or, um, Acro, Sean. Uh, I, I don't know if I would feel comfortable having JP in my house. I don't, I'd be scared of what he'd say on stream, honestly, by on live stream. No, you're fine, Rude Dog. It gave me time to promote um, Retro and uh, my Twitch channel and Retro's YouTube. So you're fine. Also, if you guys haven't um, entered my giveaway, you should do that. And you should watch it for views, for top prizing, even if you have entered it. Yeah. You you 100% would probably. You there uh right there. Uh it's for Hall of Fame Bree for first place. Uh there's gear pulls and blitz tickets and stuff on there as well. There's the link right there though, D-man. Super easy to enter. Nope. It doesn't count. Um, you can view it multiple times. So you can see I've only had, um, what do I have, like, three. I have 302 entries and 787 views. Well, yeah, it will take you out of the live stream unless you open it in a new tab. Just right-click and open in a new tab or a new window. If you're on a phone, that might be difficult, though. You you would for sure troll the chat, I think. Uh, you and Bear should start a stream, JP, where you guys just troll people. Bear would be the subtle trolling.
It, yes, <clears throat> it for sure, D-Man. There's a lot going on. Yes, Game Spy, I got the gold gear from maxing the um, solo. I absolutely think it could work. You and Bear are both hilarious, JP. And you guys have a decent following among other trolls. I'm sure Floppy would love it. Great, probably would like it. He's not starting with red MP? Or purple? No MP trainer? Question mark? Is that did I look at that right? Huh. Well let's do this. Uh, Game Spy, I didn't have to spend on the solo this month, but I have a big roster. Uh, no, Bear, I'm still on the same brawl. No problem, Cabal. If you're just hearing that now, Cabal... You are probably behind on the stream and you want to reload it. You're about 10 or 15 minutes after I said something. No, I'm not using Big Kev. He is. I, I don't understand this setup that he's using. At all. If anyone else does... For feud, uh, feel free to explain it to me. Actually, clear. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. Yeah, I have no idea why he's running what he's running. confirm if it's um okay i'll tell you when i get out of this i don't even pay attention to the names yeah but his move is he, he none of his moves are going to be ready turn one he doesn't have any mp trainers on What? Yeah, it was Kev from Booty. And why is the brawl magically over right when it started? Alright. Hey, let's feud with 2Bob. Okay, apparently it happened to all of us. All right. I still don't know why he was using that setup, though. That does not make sense. Hey, an even kind of lineup for a change. Yeet.
Hey Scott, if you see him, uh, in in a in a non-offensive, questioning way, could you ask him why he was running that setup? Oh, okay. Bear asked him. All right, Bear, you probably asked in a not nice way though. <laughs> Maybe he's using Big Kev because his name is Kev and he likes to use Kevs. You, <laughs> you asked if his dog stepped on his phone. Oh my gosh. Hey, RFX Animation, what is up? That's the fella right there that does my um, intro. Speaking of which, we should probably come up with a new one that doesn't have the 2020 logo in it. At some point. Cut what guy a break? I know you're busy. RFX. Right. I, I get the, the black generate. I don't he didn't have any MP trainers though. Oh, I'm jelly RFX, super jelly. I would say Game Spy uh, NWO Brett, unless you need Shamrock as a dual MP trainer, NWO Brett is probably going to do better for you, especially with all the NWO requirements. Ooh, that was a big one. Okay, then. That should do it. What's the best combat for Sako? Uh, the one MP move and the and the two yellows, the kick out and the bleed. It's been a long time, Gareth, so I'm trying to remember um, what moveset. Did, are you able to run him blue, green, green yet? Because if not, that becomes available at four star. Um, and you low charge moves, load the blue, which is the sub. Andrade's pretty good. Man, everyone had questions all of a sudden. Andrade's pretty good. He's a solid, um, solid acro. I would probably think about Ray before Andrade. Oh, you have his gear? Never mind. Yes, then play Andrade. That's pretty rare gear. Nice job. Yeah, uh, about the same then, Gareth. Uh, I got nothing to pull, Retro. That's awesome, Caval. I would work uh, Andre. I think yes and no, um, Anu. If you don't have a good um, fake Kev. Uh, if you don't have a good um, showdown person, Shamrock's got low charge moves for showdown. Um, so Shamrock's better for showdown than NWO Brett, but NWO Brett's going to be better for feud, I think, probably. 
And he recycles. So his finisher recycles kind of endlessly. Hey, Pathos, it's going well. How are you? Good morning, Patrick. How are you, sir? What if next month's daily login stays the same as this month's? Yeah, I think a lot of people would take that retro. It wouldn't it wouldn't be good for for me personally because I have everyone except for Fiend in it. Uh, I am working on Walter Game Spy. Just there is a very limited amount of coin to go around. If you stream bear, I'll be on. I will watch. One hundred percent. You can promote it in my server. Up, oh, two bob's gonna get mad at me. I'm slow. Why is two bob not in the stream? You suck, two bob. I'm gonna go slow just because you're not in the stream. Ha. Ah. Oh, wait. Never mind. There he is. Crap. Speak of the devil. Who's this Bob Quake? You want me to look at your feud roster? I can look at your feud roster. Sure. Yeah, this one took me a while to get where I liked it. I feel like where I'm at now is kind of the sweet spot. Uh, but it, it definitely started out rough. I did not like where it started at. Plus I was tired and playing really poorly, which didn't help. I am glad you picked Eddie too, Bob. Super stoked for you about that one, too. Yeah, Eddie was the right move for you, dude. Hall, you don't even need Hall. You have better powerhouses, like three better powerhouses, so... I would have been slightly irritated with you if you had taken Hall. Yeah. He is good, but why does Bob need Hall? He's got he's got he's got Keith Lee. He's got um Hogan. He's got um Zombie Daniel Bryan, like all better than Hall. In my opinion. Oh, well, he doesn't have Lee. Okay. I don't think Hall is top 3 personally. Gooker, Rock, Seth. Uh, yeah, Bob, I like your lineup a lot, actually. A lot. Yeah, Powerhouse Macho. Forgot about him. Also better than Hall. In my opinion. Too, Bob, I like that setup that you have. That's very good.
Like, 2-Bob has all the good ones. <laughs> I... Uh, he's got high move damage, for sure, Reggie. I uh, also fought a Hall of Fame Hall in this feud and wasn't super impressed. That's more about fun to me, Bear. Eddie's his favorite wrestler in the game. So neither of them are going to change his account at all. That was more my point. Neither make an impact on his roster. One way or the other. They're not going to change it. He wouldn't work Hall forever. And probably might not even be his first five star he decides to take up at Hall of Fame. That's more my point. Neither of them changes roster and Eddie's his favorite card. I'm not talking... I, I think Hall is probably a better card than Eddie, too. Um, so I'm not actually arguing that point. I just said I would be annoyed with him. Slightly, if he had taken Hall, because of how much he likes Eddie. No, Caval, I do not have any idea on that. So far as I know, no one has any idea on that. And heist, gents, that is fast. For most people, I would have said to take Hall. For I probably would have taken Hall. But for 2-Bob, I don't think it made sense. So apologies for everyone that thought I was hating on Hall. Because he's a very good card, and I would choose him over Eddie. But in 2-Bob's situation, I would absolutely have taken Eddie. What is this mess? Did he... He has zombie Triple H coaching. Oh, dear lord. This is gonna hurt. Did you really, Reggie? Dude, that's freaking awesome. Congratulations, my guy. Uh, enjoy the last feud with plus 99 MP. That's amazing, Reggie. Ow, that hurt. I knew that was going to suck. Have fun the last feud, Reggie. And plus 99 MP. Uh, whatever. No, no. Okay. Uh, we'll drop those. That should not interfere with that. I think I did that right. No, I didn't, because I'm stupid. Okay, whatever. At least I got a good cascade and it doesn't matter. Thank you. 
Yeah, too, Bob. That's that's what I that's completely what I was saying. Neither of them are gonna change anything really on your roster, and you're an Eddie Mark. So in your case, I would absolutely have taken Eddie. Right, Southside. That's what I'm saying. Who does that? So rude. Now, apparently, Boston SSM does that. Thanks, Boston. No, it also depends on their medals and stuff, Game Spy. Oh, nice, Jens. Thousand TP bag? Yeah, plus, you guys didn't see uh, 2 Bob like, ready to jump off out a window every time someone posted a Eddie pull and how depressed it made him, so. <laughs> right on, Mori. I'm going to verify Reggie's pull. Well, look at that. If you guys don't know, um, yeah, exactly. I would have taken Hall, but in his situation, like I said, um, if you guys don't know Reggie at all, don't let the fact that he's in the evil empire count against him. He is a wonderful human being. One, definitely one of my favorite people in the game. So, you know, super happy that someone awesome got some luck out of one of those bags. He is. Reggie's just a regular dude. You could say he's a regular Reggie. Ooh, nice. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of fitting, right? That's how it, that's how everyone looks at it. Like, not everyone, but a lot of people. You don't, the, the people say the dumbest stuff. So, I'm on my stream, so I'm going to get on a soapbox here for a second. Um, I'm not advocating for one faction or another faction or, or, or bashing on factions. That's not what I do. Um, but people say the dumbest stuff about Grimm. Like, literally, the dumbest stuff about Grimm. I just got to get that out of my system. Most of what you hear people say about Grimm is the dumbest statements that get made in this game. There's there's things to not like for sure, just like every faction, but I just got to get that out of my system. All right, carry on. Uh, yeah, sometimes they don't do themselves any favor in the public eye, but we'll get sidetracked on a tangent. But a lot of what people say about it is just really stupid. Anyway, Evil Empire's fitting. Uh, Gary, my feud is going better now that I got my roster set up the way I wanted to. Otherwise, I used more health packs than I would like to have. And really, I'm only feuding for something to stream. Otherwise, I would wait for the last feud and then just use a few fuses. Rooster? Yeah. I heard that, King Warren. I, I heard that. One, two, three. Yeah, Bob, for sure. Regular Reggie, you know, not your regular player. Yeah, we don't... There's nothing we gotta hurry for, right? I mean, like, we're gonna get 1% no problem. 
like I said, I probably would just use a bunch of fuses, but this gives me something to stream for other people that are feuding and stuff too. And, um, you know, mess around with some line bonuses and not have to use the fuses, so. Uh, Xandal, they finish first in, in most things, especially feud. Although Haven's been giving them a run lately in feud. I don't know if that means uh, top or not. I already used two fuses, Bear, so I'm kind of cheating. Same thing, Southside. Loser goes on webcam next month. <laughs> no, Bear, I do not want to go head-to-head -head with you. Because uh, I don't want to use a webcam yet. I have one. I could turn one on right now. I just don't want to. <laughs> right on, Scott. Two, uh, He-Man Ultimate Warrior, Masters of the Universe Warrior. Yeah, he's a really solid showboat, actually. He's got some really nice protect gems. Um, you know, he can uh, blow up the board. He's a much better Matt Hardy with more options and a very strong protect gem build. And he'll be required a couple times a year. Uh, thanks, Reggie. I try. Yes. Those are for my only fans. You have to pay a premium to see me. Uh so Haven's doing okay this flash feud. They're only 11k behind or 11 mil behind Grim. Man, the top look look at I we got to look at this though. These guys are way up here and then these guys feud still a lot. And then here's the normal sane people. No offense to anyone in the top three. Here's the people that are like, okay, we're going to get our rewards and call it good. Yes, I'm too scared. You, it'd be horrible if you all saw my ugly, disfigured face. So you know what's funny, guys, is if we, we being TNM, average 6th to 7th place, if we do this spot, the next three, this feud and the next two, I will recruit Bree. Exactly, with zero shards to spare. If we fall any farther, I will have to try doing a few pulls if I want to get her. No pressure, TNM. No pressure. Help a brother out. 11 million isn't a lot across a faction of 100 people. I know, Reggie. Uh, I probably, honestly, will spend um, because she's dropping as commons in the Andre loot. Her shards are. So as long as it's like 10 or 20, I'll try a couple 7 pulls and should be able to get her unless my luck is really, really bad. Really bad, which is kind of scary, but she'd be worth it. I mean, we're all kind of crazy, Warren. I was meant with love. Thanks, Southside. I appreciate that. I know you're a you're a feuder. Uh, Southside, what's the what would be the purpose? Um, of the pulls for you? Do you need something? Uh, will it get you a milestone? That that's the question I would ask. I used him all, Reggie. That's why I'm as close as I am. How far away are you from Bree? Four hundred and thirty away. Did you, um, did you do any of the Royal Rumble tours? I ended up doing. I want to say, let's see, fifteen, thirty, fifty, about seventy Royal Rumble pulls. And I ended up getting 75 shards. I got her three times out of the Royal Rumble pulls, the free ones that we can do. Um, so there's a decent shot at getting her. Uh, so if you have gold auto clear tickets, I would recommend using those before that expires. And I think it expires in three hours when Feud does. Do you have any auto clear tickets, though? 
if you have gold auto clears, you could see if you get lucky. Because I spent all of them I had saved up. And the last eight pulls I did, I got her twice. Okay. I'm just trying to think of something that you could do on a short term. Then, I mean, so in the loot, she's going 10 to 50 shards. So keep that in mind. You get 10 to 50 shards. She's in the commons. Mostly you get Andre shards, but you get a fair amount of hers too. But on a 40 pull, you'd probably only get 100 shards, give or take, in a 40 pull. Depending on your luck, you could potentially get more. So I don't think you'd get enough to make a difference unless you wanted to spend a couple hundred bucks. Assuming you end up 100 or two away. And yes, if you have silver um, medals, uh, two silver medallions for 50 shards of her. Sorry, I really slow because I started talking and forgot I was feuding. What even? I don't even. Oh, it's Cena. That's right. I'm like, I don't even remember who I'm fighting. <sighs> sure. Why not? What else? I farm normal with Godfather and just turn one to using his finisher. I would say you probably can figure on about 75 to 100 shards per 40 pull, but there's always random to that south side, so keep that in mind. And Reggie, absolutely, she would make my Orton that much better. So I think she's worth spending, yeah, a little bit for me to try. I don't really want to spend very much, but I probably would do two sets of seven pulls because I think that would do it. Hopefully I get lucky on the first one and not have to do the second one. We'll see where we end up on the feud before I decide, though, for sure. Why am I doing that? That would be dumb. Because I'm talking and not paying attention. Oh yeah, there's still the giveaway and there's shards in the second place. A hundred right now. Two hundred shards in second place. Uh, if we get enough views. Which I hope we do. I do not have the best bucket either, Aaron. Lately I've done okay, but I do not have the best bucket. Uh, retro. Finisher turn one is ready using Akam and Beth or Shamrock. Both add two yellow. And having your tour perks maxed. And then the finisher's ready turn one. So I just used him uh, on the low level Orton and his finisher did enough damage. You're fine. I'm just streaming. 
Whoa, Bob, I was really slow. How long did that one match take me while I was talking? Holy crap. I am sorry, Bob. <laughs> I just went off on a on a big old sidetrack. What how much time is left on feud? Was that like did I take like half a feud for one match? Yeah, that was great. Seven minutes. Okay, let's uh, let me focus here for a second and get this done. Jeez, slow cable, slow. Hopefully he doesn't have gem defense. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long then. Yeah, Bob. You don't get to talk about your bucket. I don't care if it wasn't in-game. Bear's right. Still count. What kind of idiot does that? Me, that's who. There's too many gems on the board. Yeah, another valid point, Reggie. Thank you. Didn't he pull a, a Gargano too? If I'm not mistaken, guys, didn't he pull Gargano too? Honestly, I feel like it's possible that given his VIP level and stuff, that bear might have a very bad bucket. I've seen bears tricksters. Yeah, Broken does have a terrible bucket. Uh, Reggie, so you remember the Olay Tap Joys that I got 80,000 in-game cash for? The uh, Gooker pull used all of that cash, so that was uh, how many pulls? That was the equivalent of what, 7 Megas? I think, right? I used all the Tap Joy cash. Oh no, it counts. I'm not saying I have. A, I like I said, lately it's been better, and I got Trish from the bags. I don't think I have the worst bucket ever, and I don't claim to. I just don't think I have a good bucket. I have an okay bucket. Yeah, yeah, Reggie. I, 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 I used all my chat tap joy cash. <laughs> it ended up working out in the end. But if I wouldn't have got Gooker, that would have been the absolute worst use of Tapjoy Cash ever. Oh, you did get Sid yesterday too, Bear. That's true. But Tricksters, you have a bad bucket. You gotta have the worst Trickster bucket maybe in the game. You got 40 shards? How many did you pull to get 40 shards, Rude Dog? That's my backup plan. Yeah, I don't know. Bear, are you even gonna build Sid? Probably not. And right, seven pull, forty shards. That's what kind of what I'm hoping for, Rude Dog. That I only have to do seven if I end up short. <laughs> he, he, Bear's not lying, guys. He has he has a huge roster, and um, Hall of Fame Piper is his best trickster. Oh man, Scott, yeah.
Have you heard back from support on that at all, Scott? Yes, Patrick, I did, for Max in the solo MLC. So, um, the, the, the second Tapjoy event they ran um, for 1.5s, I played a, a, a couple games and got a good amount. So I bought 10 of those um, chests that you could get 5-star tokens out of that everyone said. They got a lot of Hall of Fame 5-star tokens out of. I opened 10 boxes and only got 2 Hall of Fame tokens. So that was like 15,060 cash uh, for 2 Hall of Fame tokens from Tapjoy. That kind of made me sad. Uh, Reggie, ooh, see, that's a good question, Reggie, because, um, well, the, what about the links, though, to Bob, for Showdown? Because, well, China can solo, uh, with the move damage, and R Reggie has a good roster, so he could probably take advantage of building her right, but what about the, you know, mixed tag match links and that kind of stuff from Wendy? Right, and I, I would, I, I tend to use them with that kind of link. Yeah, but people don't buy them as high anymore. I only go to two now. That sucks, Scott. I hope you hear something back. Uh, Patrick, I need the tokens, and then yes, I don't have the tokens to bring him fives, but as soon as I do, I will. Pathos, I think so. Mine is five star. That's I do that. I try to do that a little bit every time, Aaron, and then I'll I'll refresh um I'll refresh Showdown Store and spend my Showdown coins on TP and Star Fill medals too. Yeah, mine's level one, and I want to build her too. I will probably build her before Wendy if that helps, uh, Reggie. But that's because I don't. I think I'll have enough five-star tokens to do anything with anyone for a while at the uh, Hall of Fame. And Piper will be my first. I plan to take him five-star silver before I worry about working anyone else in Hall of Fame up. That's on my roster currently. But in a lot of ways, I kind of think he's one of the best Hall of Famers. I know that's not going to be popular, and not everyone will probably agree with that. But what how he plays and stuff. I really like him. Nice AK. You'll get there. If you if you have Gooker, if you have black uh uh percentage gem metal, and if you have a legendary strap for her in the DX assault plate, she's might be the best female showdown character. But that's a lot of ifs, and that's a lot of hard-to-get items to maximize her completely. Right, Southside? I don't even have enough tokens to take anyone to 5-star, let alone 5-star silver. So I'm not really worried about... <laughs> that's hilarious, Bob. Yeah, I, I, not, I want to take someone five star, but I do not want to pay thirty dollars to do it. So I'm not either south side, not at this time for me. I agree as well. For me, it is not worth it, Ben. As much as I want to 5-star Piper, 
It's not worth it for me right now. I, I got a feeling that they'll be in the showdown store soon, and that'll be fast enough for me. I'm not either, Bear. Yeah, Bob and I both have Gooker, so we don't need to rush it for Piper. Uh, the problem is all the guys I want to take to 5-star silver are going 4-star gold for me. Uh, or 5-star bronze, so I don't really have a choice. Yeah, I'm going to take Gooker Silver too, but I'm, again, two months behind. That's my problem. With the guys I want to take, I'm two months behind. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. It is what it is, and it might be a rough month for me. This next month I don't think will be too bad. The month after is going to be very bad for me. Uh, but I'm going to deal with it for one month, I think. Unless, um, unless Tucker, not Tucker, I'm sorry, unless Otis is the equivalent of 123Kid or Zombie Roman, I am not going to probably go too crazy either. Nice, Reggie. Yeah, Mania will probably be really big. Yep, I, that's what I'm going to do next month, Yeah, I think, is I'll probably take Tucker to four-star bronze and call it a day. Um, but I am, I am, I want to build, uh, I need to dump a lot of coin into Gooker. Um, Lana still needs coin. Um, and I also want to have enough so when I when I get zombie Daniel Bryan, I'm gonna think positive here. When I get zombie Daniel Bryan and zombie Roman in spring outbreak, I have the resources to take them up. Uh, just keep using Piper, whatever. Same thing, Reggie. All of my all of my savings going there. Oh, Salad, what's good, my guy? Uh, I don't have Facebook open. Give me a second, I'll check Messenger. Uh, when your kid gets on your stream to tell him to check Messenger, that's funny. Right on. Yes, Salad is my son. <laughs> he doesn't need a ride to GameStop. He's actually letting me know him and his friend are coming over. He's probably terrified that I'd just be sitting here in my boxers or something and scare his friend. <laughs> I am I'm actually wearing a shirt and shorts already so you wouldn't get that exciting of a show bear but I don't I'm wearing shorts uh, I can't Bob because I don't have his five star move yet Exactly, Ben. This guy gets it. Part of being a dad is embarrassing your kids. This guy gets it. Yeah, that was the main reason I let you take the lead on talking about it too, Bob, because I don't have mine five-star yet. Gaming Spy, I do plan on working my Wendy. 
Uh, I'm using um, shards to level up her moves, and I plan on taking her to four-star gold, where she will wait to go five-star bronze until after Piper is five-star silver. So there's really no rush for me. Yeah, next month uh, he will be... Uh, I'll be able to finish out his coin. I actually put 4 million or so into him. I think he needs 14 million coin next month is all. Uh, and uh, his moves are almost done. So Gooker next month, not, not this coming talent up, but the next one will for sure go 5 star bronze. Uh, Striker Arden is 4 star bronze maxed, ready to go 4 star silver on talent up. I am going to take him 4-star silver and then 4-star gold. So, uh, and then uh, Cena's going 4-star gold on talent up. So literally, uh, not this month, but next month, it'll be 5-star bronze, Gooker, Cena, and um, Orton. And the month after that, all of those will be ready for 5-star silver, because those are all my 5-star silver plans. That's why I'm saying I'm going to be a month later than I want to be. Okay, Bob, let me know when you're ready. Are you ready to go now-ish? Um, I think, do I need to heal? You ready to go now-ish? Okay. Then I'll go after Njokic. I can't pronounce that. All right. You can still use Zombie Roman, um, Ban. You can still use Zombie Roman. Oh, YNV Joe C. YNV Joe. Ah, uh -huh. thank you, Ben. Reading is fundamental. Um, personally, I think Orton is the most versatile because you can do a lot of different stuff with him. And you can use no MP trainers or you can use MP trainers. Uh, but I'm also extremely biased on Orton. Um, but Orton, you can show down in feud. You could make a case for Zombie Triple H. HBK hits super hard and can be quite fast. All three of them are easily worth considering taking to five star silver. They're all very, very good. Yep. There I I don't know that they're a wrong choice, Ben, between the three of them. I just I'm I'm making Orton my showdown guy. Um because I don't believe in Sako at 5 star silver over Cena. And I'm pretty sure the other two can get the job done at 5 star bronze for me in feud. So that's why I'm going Orton for showdown. But I don't know what's the smarter play. And maybe Sako would be holed up at 5 star silver in Showdown. I just, I'm more worried about Showdown than Feud. Uh, because Feud, it's not hard to get the score you need. Showdown, with the way Showdown is, sometimes getting above the mark is very difficult. Um, and I don't know how much I'll be able to cheese 5 star strikers and stuff in showdown with dango even if it's a class advantage so i'm more worried about showdown that's why i'm gonna try orton because i don't know what else would be better than orton or sako in showdown for defense uh give me one second he was in the bedroom so i came back up Doors being locked. That's the. Hey, you? Hang out. Dude, what do we owe this? I'm just gonna hang out for a while. Alright, sorry, guys. Good to see you. 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 Good
Uh, it's gonna be slightly noisy for a few minutes. Black TP is a struggle, Reggie. I've been using all of my shards on Black TP. Yep, Scott, I am hoping I just the next two months are going to be a struggle. Uh, a little bit, I think, but I'm hoping to get there because it'll make my long-term plans way better. Blue is actually my lowest TP color too, Ben. Um, blue and purple are my lowest. Uh, doing so many hundreds and hundreds of matches um, on the Orton node gave me a lot of black, actually. I am hoping for lots of blue and purple when I do my prize wall stuff. Uh, no one's mentioned Striker Austin because Vin's not here. Fair. If I say Striker Austin is bad, he might show up, though. Nice, Bob. I'm looking forward to getting Gooker leveled up. Right, Southside? I, man, I wish this this week has been way too... I wanted to get gin, Ginger um, Hidden Gem done this week. I don't know if I'm going to get to it this weekend, though, yet. And then next weekend is the next week... Or, uh, start of the week is the the new um, month long and that that's a busy week for me too so but I, I want to try and get gender done this weekend because uh, I'm I haven't even tested them yet Southside and I'm actually looking forward to that plus I know who I want to do for my next hidden gem and I, I'm excited about that one too oh I know I just like getting them out because I know a lot of people are always curious about those ones so Uker is really good are you running him double armor Bob I can't remember Hall of Fame Piper is fun. You can take the freebie off, in my opinion, Aiden. I think he's very good, especially when you get the the stupid plate, the uh, the glowing phantom thingamajabi. One armor, one fury mix. Okay, right on. I I I really like how he plays, but he gets better as he goes up. Five star, he's much 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 better than four star the move being four by one is big and the hell steel gets a lot bigger too and then you can use the 10 mp sub instead of the 11 mp sub um while it's less damage it charges that one charge less is pretty key actually for recycling so i will switch out to the lower less damage sub uh, but recycle better build. And then the uh, purple is 1x4 instead of 1x3. That's funny, Bob.
Yeah, that's the thing, Aiden. He's going to be everyone's Hall of Famer, uh, or a lot of people's. I have Booker T. I like Piper way more than Booker T. I have uh, Hall of Fame Sting. I definitely like Piper, Piper more than Sting. They do, Bob. I should, I should focus on it a little bit more. I actually thought they would give Booker gear. Um, because he was like exclusive to the chase and stuff and they haven't really, they haven't, as far as I know, offered him. What? Okay. Did it, when did that happen? How did I miss that? Let me, uh, I need to look. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do we know, does anyone have any idea how you get it yet? I'm sure no one knows. How did I miss that? Well then. One more color gem? Oh, that's, I don't care about that. That's not exciting at all. That really doesn't... Does that does that do anything? You guys... Ben, you've played him with different setups than just the power gems. Does that do much for you, in your opinion? Yeah, but does it do enough? Like, does it bring him up a lot? You're going to know way better than me, for sure, Ben. I wonder if they're going to give Sting gear, too. Sting? Hello? Aw. Yeah, you don't think one is enough? Yeah, I didn't... doesn't look like enough for me. That would be the best thing if it fixed his finisher to not be a finisher. Then Sting would be freaking awesome. Otherwise, it's just lots of turns, man. Lots of turns. Hmm. Yeah, I know you can, Bear. I'm gonna... Don't worry, I'll spend some after the stream. What the heck is that noise? No, no, you're fine. Okay, he does not have Zombie Triple H equipped. Actually checking now. Yeah, I remember, Ben, that one feud when you were rocking him. Yep. Bread is better. Mm-hmm. I've not... I've never been the biggest Booker fan, so that's why mine is still four-star bronze. As far as in this game, I mean, I liked him as a wrestler a lot. Gonna get somebody thinking I don't like Booker T as a wrestler if I don't clarify. Ugh. 
This is going to be a lot of damage here. A lot, a lot of damage. Man, if only the board always set up that nice, huh? Yeah, I was using Dango. Hey, hey, fish can't swim. Iceman, I was using Dango when everyone was all about the Booker T stuff, so I was never impressed with him in Showdown really either. He always made you take some damage, but I don't feel like he was really, like, scared people off or won, won many matches for you. But yes, he always made you take damage, so he was always more annoying than anything else. Unless you had a male male Hall of Fame link, then he was a lot better. Yeah, I could see that loading the greens. I don't have a uh, Kofi. Yeah, they absolutely have links now. I really like Hall of Fame Sting, actually. All right, then. Just not enough that I've worked him up. So mine's four star bronze. Like uh, a lot of my Hall of Famers seem like they're going to end up for their um, training skill, coaching skill. Yeah, Hall of Fame Sting can do some work sometimes. I actually do like him, Fish. He's, uh, he's a strong card. Maybe a little bit slower than I'd like, and that's why I haven't worked him up, but I do actually really like him. Akroshan is pretty dang good in Showdown. That's a card I've said a couple times. I would take to 5-star silver at uh, Acrobat and not be mad at all. I wish I had it. I don't think I'm going to get him this turn. I believe at 5 star, his cheap MP um, destroy move destroys 2 rows too. I could be wrong about that. Uh, if you're willing to spend, there definitely will be a ton of them. The same deals they had at um, Christmas, where you could buy the League coupons, and equated to being a whole lot of coin and TP, are back. They said that on the blog. Rude Dog, for me, it's Piper.
I have not yet, Patrick. Uh, I'm gonna buy the Wendy strap because Hall of Fame legendary straps are hard to come by and it's a skip which will be silly on her. Um, she is stupid good card. Stupid stupid good card. Um, Radical biggest reason um, Happy birthday and NGX Welcome to the stream and happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful one. Uh, the green two, I believe, is better for recycling because it's a five charge move. Uh, and also, it's not dependent on with purples on the board. And the other reason um, I think it's better is if you have a glowing phantom plate and put it on, then he recycles like crazy. Uh, thanks, Jens. We we I know a few people that have got them from the bag, so it seems like the odds are maybe not terrible for doing that. I think I'll have to check and see how close our faction is to the next milestone. But also, if you have them, this plate right here. Whenever you break three or more purples, you get three green MP. It's clutch on him. So every time you do that move at the end of your turn, it fills the green pretty much up. You can see when I swipe here and end my turn. The green will fill up 3 MP. So it's crazy easy recycling. Three. 20 million, bear? Okay. Rude was really good too. I actually I actually thought we would see one card be like a clear like top two in its class card this month. I thought it would be Andre. And it turned out none of them are really top two in their class. I'm using my green MP trainer on Piper, though. I don't... Yeah. Whatever. Honky Tonk Man is really good with links. Uh, Wendy, I probably, maybe. Uh, Wendy, yeah, when, yeah, I'd say probably when. I, there's so many good female strikers. Well, not so many, but Zombie Page, China, and Wendy are definitely the best strikers. Love you, bud. See you, love you. Have a good day. Don't get in too much trouble. All right. Uh. They're not, like, top of their class, in my opinion. I think, like, clear-cut, like, a top three card in their class. Wendy, Wendy, yes. She would be the best as far as per class. She... But I was expecting, like, Powerhouse Andre to be, like, up there with Hogan kind of, kind of card. Yeah. For feud, for sure, Rude Dog. For showdown, maybe not. But Wendy hits super hard, like super, super hard. 
she's the the hardest hitting female in the game, I think. I think I feel comfortable saying that. Uh, actually, that's kind of the so two things would fix uh, would do a lot is uh, black starting MP and more gem generation uh, on the red uh, because if you could turn one that choose move and if it was uh, instead of a choose two which makes very little sense uh, if you were choosing like uh, normal like a five at five star so like if they come out with gear that's plus two to the choose or plus three and then the plus two or three starting black MP, but it'll probably be four. Then Andre will be crazy because you can hit a choose move and do 400k damage, which is nuts for a choose move. We, so that seems likely. That Andre will get gear and that gear most likely would be black MP because uh, I don't understand any other reason for him to be that way um, with the move charge as high as they are. The finisher makes sense if it worked right, but destroy moves, as we know, target special gems last. Uh, that sounds delicious, Bear. I wish I lived closer, and I wasn't paying attention, so I made a big dum-dum. And he's using the sub. So here we go. Gonna lose this match because I wasn't paying attention. Hey, yes, Reggie. The way he is, he's he's a solid card. That's what he is. He's a solid card. Yeah, Rex, we, we all brought it up. And, uh... All of us said we'd be more than happy to give them gameplay showing the finisher will only ever destroy regular gems. You'd have to make the finisher destroy um, 31? No, 47 on the board. 36 gems for it to actually hit anything. Yeah, so it'd need to destroy 10 more than it does. Yeah, I cannot. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do because I was stupid. And talking and not paying attention. This is such an annoying submission. Bye bye. <laughs> right, south side? Oh, we absolutely can agree on that. All is way better. You may need to uh, extrapolate on that bear. Uh, Bob, I'm gonna kill the easy guys. You can finish him, cause I'm big dumb. Hey, impact! Just making bad plays while talking. And thinking about food, truthfully. I hungry. I've been eating a few um, wheat thins while I'm sitting here, but I'm sure that's amazingly noisy for you guys. Is it 41? Okay. Yeah, it's a ridiculous amount. So there's no way to make the finisher work unless they change the way destroy moves work.
Um, so the only way to make him good... Brew dog. Yes, I want to go walk to the store and get tamales. That would be ideal. It's uh, 10, they should still have them. How long have I been streaming for? Oh, four hours? Well, that would explain why I'm hungry. Bear, you know you can send food pics in my server. I don't know why you'd even ask that, goob. It's all yours after this too, Bob. None, Godflow. You're not allowed. Uh, I've seen some of the stuff Bear cooks. He looks like an excellent cook, and it all usually looks very delicious. I'm kind of disappointed, actually, I don't live close to him. I'd find a reason to hang out with him just to eat his amazing food. And he has a very cute dog. I could, but I was running a bigger roster too, Bob, and all I got was uh, tons of tons of five stars when I didn't have any, any, so I went lower because I don't have MP down perk. And I was getting matched against people like 20k higher roster than me. Really, JBL? Calm down. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm so I'm doing another stream today. Uh, I am streaming tonight to do the giveaway for the um, Hall of Fame Brie for first place. 200 shards. Well, right now 100 shards. If we get enough views, it'll be 200 shards and a gear pull. And then um, 5k blitz tickets, or if we get enough views, 15k blitz tickets and a gear pull. So um, let me send you that link. Uh, everyone should go watch it to get the views up there so we can get the good prizing because it is at currently 792 views so it's got a ways to go before tonight and also if you haven't would love if you guys liked the video you don't have to this one uh, the current stream but you don't have to but I would appreciate it Please and thank you. But yeah, I, just, I was kind of forgetting I was streaming tonight, too. Uh, what time is feud tonight start? Let me look. Since I've been doing this for four hours, I'm probably going to call it soon. Wrong one. Oh, yeah, two bob. There, you got it. Cool. Two bob's got it. 8 p.m. Eastern? That's like, what? That's like 5 p.m. my time. There's there's only five hours in between the feud? Okay. That's not a lot of time. I gotta binge watch uh, SmackDown and Raw so I can get caught up, too. I actually am going to try something with my lineup, though, after this one real quick. I actually, Patrick, I've been enjoying them quite a lot, especially um, anything to do with Roman. I'm like three weeks behind right now, and I'd like to be caught up for the Rumble tomorrow.
Hey, K Conflict, how are you? You just waking up or you been up for a while? No problem, Bob. Hey, Matt, how are you? I love Bliss, too, Rude Dog. She's been amazing. Yeah, Drev, still going, and I have another stream today, too. Uh, I'll probably stream, I don't know when, sometime tonight. Hopefully, I'm going to try and delay it to get the, um, get the views up for the video so we can unlock the best prizing. Yeah, K Conflict, it hasn't been the, the most fun feud with Trickster Dodges going off a little bit and things like that, but yeah. So when the rumble's going on tomorrow, um, my server does live, um, we do a live uh, chat about the pay-per-view, so if on my Discord, everyone's welcome to join that. And hang out for rumble chat. That was pretty cool. Um, some of the pay-per-views are really fun when we do that, so... If you're not on my Discord server, let me send you... I wonder if you can set up bots in uh, YouTube. That would be kind of handy. Let me get you guys the link in case you're not on my Discord server. Only a few rules. No recruiting, no faction drama, don't be a dick. That's really about it. All right, let's switch this crap out. I'm going to do... I want to try, since the nerfing of the boss plate, I have not tried him. And as 2Bob was pointing out, I'm not using any of my red MP trainers. So let's see what this looks like. Where's my red? Yeah, I know, Retro. Uh, I'm going to say Big E for men's because that's what I really want. Yes, no Gooker. He's. I'm not using Gooker this second. You are correct. Very astute observation, sir. <laughs> Meh. Only destroys three yellows. This is where I wish I had his gear now that the boss plate is fixed. Um, yeah. Cannot use that one. I don't care. It's fine. We'll just, whatever. Looks good. Okay, and... I wish this wasn't restricted to freaking Attitude Era. Um, 
Genesis. Actually, let's just go. Ah. Yellow. Where'd you go? Does anyone know what heading the the do the MP coaches come up in their own heading? What's the best one to search for them? Because I hate taking a while to look. This should be no effect, I think, is where zombie triple H ends up going. No. Yes. Move charge? They don't have their own setting? Okay. Uh, he's not... The glitch where he doesn't... Oh, game. Sometimes. Who's he on? Manage. Uh, how do you see who they're equipped to when they're not? I think I put him on... Who's he on? I can't remember. Alright, whatever. Z Austin. Oh. Yep, I saw that. <laughs> it's no problem. You'll get it back. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any useful affiliation straps yet. Jeez, calm the frick down. Hey, Brygab, what's good?
And Austin will be really easy if I can get um, freaking Zombie Triple H to equip, which I think I have to go into Austin himself and remove him. Nice, Brygab. Okay. Oh, not much, Con. Just getting kind of hungry. Been streaming for about four four hours and fifteen minutes actually now, and uh, I have another stream tonight sometime so probably around eight my time ish I would think maybe a little sooner so that's like uh, 10 hours from now <laughs> right on uh, Pacific Brygab so I think this is going to be the last one for me, actually. The last feud. I need to go get some food. I'm going to go get some tamales. Pot roast does sound good. I would take pot roast. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, you don't need to be lot out. Oh, thanks, Kelvin. Appreciate that. Love you guys too. Um, you don't need to be on to win. You just need to um, enter. But I do like it when you're on. You do need to be on to win the fourth place. That's true, Bear.
Right on, Bacchus. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. It's a really good plate on him, Reggie. He ended up doing a $20 one bear. Because uh, if he... Uh, if Johnny got a stunner, he upped it to 20 So DJ gave Johnny a stunner. Oh yeah, I wanted to try this and see how it worked. Since it's been nerfed. Right on, Bacchus. Okay. <laughs> Since I have to recycle now, I guess I'll do it that way. And... Sure. It's definitely different. And there is not very much red on the board. But we can set this up. Hey, red. Yay. Not the same old zombie cane that he used to be. That's for sure. And I don't have his gear, which would help a little bit. Not bad, though. Yeah, it would for this one, Rude Dog, because you could trigger the boss plate two different ways then. Uh, but it's still not bad. He, so he's still usable and it's still a great plate for him. I was curious. It's the first time I tried him since then. Well, guys, I think... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's a good call. If you guys haven't entered, this is where you can enter to win your very own Hall of Fame Brie. Uh, if you want to improve the prizing, we got some views to go. 400 more to go. Not that many, really. Uh, so I think we can get there. And uh, I'll be on later tonight to do that. I'll actually, if we don't have enough when I go live, um, I will kind of delay on pulling the winners and tell people to go watch it and see if we can get up to it in time. Because uh, it just needs to be 1,200 before I do the giveaways. Um, so hopefully we can get there. And uh, have a good feud, guys. I'm going to go get myself some tamales, which I am super excited about. Yay. Um, and I'll be on later tonight, guys. So thanks for being on the stream. I really appreciate all of you. And, um, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs>